Happy Tuesday, everyone. Meteorologist Joe Martucci here. Today is the last day of February and the last day of meteorological winter. Those are the coldest three months of the year, December, January, and February. You see that palm tree behind me, and that is because the winter of 2022 and 2023 is the least snowiest winter of all time at Atlantic City International Airport, just beating out 1972 to 1973. We have not seen more than an inch of snow anywhere in southeastern New Jersey this winter. And we're not going to. As we go over the next couple of days, you notice our upper-level pattern and those arrows coming from the southwest here. That's going to bring in warmer air. And while today is seasonable, we're going to get above average for Wednesday and Thursday here Though I will say, as we go into the middle part of March, I am expecting a pretty big cool down. All right, let's take a look at our future cast. So this is 10 o'clock on Tuesday morning. A couple of rain showers around, mainly in Ocean County. This is left over from the rain and wind that we had on Monday night. We go into the day here. It's really trying to hang on with that precipitation for us, but I do believe it's gone by midday. Then we see a clearing sky, and we should get a pretty good sunset as we go into our Tuesday evening here. Sunsets right around 5.45 p.m. now. So we do have that extra daylight both at the beginning and the end of our day. We go into our Wednesday Plenty of sunshine to go around for our first day of March. The rain should stay away from us at least during the day Wednesday. Here's a look at our dog walk forecast for you this morning. Not bad. A couple of showers, mainly in Ocean County. So if you're in Ocean County, yeah, you probably want to wait till the afternoon. But if you're in Atlantic City, you're in EHT, you're in Villas, you're going to be okay. We go to the shore. Kind of the same story here. The further north you are, the wetter it will be. But even in Seaside Heights or Barnegat Light, not going to be that big of a deal. For Tuesday, we'll be talking about high temperatures in the mid to upper 40s. This is right about seasonable for this time of the year. And we'll have that northerly wind blowing. Then for Tuesday night, we clear out. That northerly wind is a dry wind, so it does work on our atmosphere as we go into Tuesday night. Lows are around 30 inland. But here's the thing. If you're in Egg Harbor City or Mullica Township in the Pine Barrens, you could even be around 25 degrees. The shore will be in the mid-30s. Then we go to our future cast all the way down to the end of the week on Friday here. We do have a storm system coming. Going to play out fairly similar to the one we just had Monday night. North Jersey gets snow to mix to rain. For us, get a little bit of mix or snow in Ocean County, maybe Hamilton. But then it pretty much just goes to all rain for us here on a... Fairly stiff east to southeast wind as we go into our Friday night here. And then as we go into Saturday, we're drying out as winds turn to the northwest. We'll have more details for you on this as we go into the rest of the week. Here's a look at our inland seven-day forecast. So temperatures climb up and up Wednesday and Thursday as our winds do kind of flip to the southwesterly direction, picking up those winds from the warmer southwesterly directions in the upper levels of the atmosphere, which then trickle down to the surface. We go into Friday. It's a strong southeasterly wind for us with that rain that will fall. The weekend right now is going to be dry. I am watching for a storm system as we go into our Sunday. Check out our Across the Sky podcast wherever you get your podcasts. We have a new episode on forensic meteorology.